Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a very cute heart shaped dress. Here are the materials you're going to need for this project so take a minute to look this over. I'm starting out by laying my tool on top of each other. So doubled over and go ahead and cut out 3 inches longer than what I need my skirt to be. Tool is kind of tricky to work with so I'm just folding it over in order to make sure that it's straight. And now I'm just folding it over even more just so that I can cut a straighter edge at the bottom. And now I'm going to work on my heart shape pattern. So I'm just going to measure out the front of my shirt. But I really didn't have to do this because I ended up laying my paper in the center of my shirt and go ahead and draw out a heart shape. And this worked out fine. And I'm cutting it out leaving my seam allowance. And now I'm taking my pink and white material and it's folded over and I'm going to go ahead and fold it over once again making sure I line up my stripes. I'm going to lay my pattern piece right on top and pin it down and I'm going to cut this out and you should get two hearts. Taking your tool again, you need to cut out two rectangles. The length will be from your chest to tie around your back of your neck and my width was seven inches. Now I'm taking my hearts again and taking that strip and we're gonna base stitch both the ends of the tool. Base stitching is just when you take your longest stitch on your machine and then gather it. Now I'm just finding the center of each side of the heart and I'm gonna pin it down on the inside and repeat the same thing for the other side. Just pinning it down on the inside. And now I'm gonna roll up the excess so that it's in the center and out of the way. Now I need to take the other side of the heart and face it right side touching the other side and go ahead and sew all the way around leaving a two inch opening. And now we're gonna go ahead and clip off all those little points and we're going to clip into the center of the heart right here and go ahead and cut off the excess around the curves. Now we can flip it right side out. And you really want to make sure all those seams are pressed out really nicely. So I'm going to really focus on that right now. And I'm even going to iron it just to make sure that lays flat. Then to close that hole that we made to turn it right side out, we're going to go ahead and top stitch all the way around this to close that up and give it a nice cute little look and then iron again just to make sure it's flat. Now we need to cut out a skirt piece in the cotton material as well, the same exact length as our tool, but since my fabric wasn't long enough, I'm cutting out two pieces and sewing them right sides touching to make a longer strip. Your strip should end up being the exact same size as your tool. Once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and pin my tool to my fabric, just right on top of it, just to connect the two. And then I'm going to hem all the edges of this material. And we're going to make a casing for the top of our elastic. So I'm just going to fold it over about an inch so that my elastic can go into it. Now take elastic that fits your waist measurement, go ahead and put a safety pin on it and start putting it through the casing. Once your elastic is about to go into your casing, you want to make sure to pin it down so that it don't end up going into your casing. And continue on until it reaches the other side and then go ahead and pin that down as well. 
Then you're just gonna sew them to make sure that they stay in place. Put your skirt right sides touching and go ahead and sew down that seam. And now our last step is to place the heart in the center of the skirt and pin it down and sew on top of it and your dress will be complete. This dress would be so cute on Valentine's Day. I hope you guys really liked it. And give this a thumbs up if you did. Thank you guys so, so much for watching.